Hello YouTube, my name is Kyle and I'm going to do a how-to video here on the Rocketfish Universal Wireless uh, Rear Speaker uh, System. And it's available at Best Buy. I uh, bought it this weekend. It was uh, about $99.99, about 100 bucks. And what it does is it converts your uh, home theater in a box system. Instead of having wires running all the way to the rear of your room for the rear satellite speakers, it allows you to connect them to this receiver here and the sender unit will send the signal from your receiver to the rear speakers and allow you to get the signal to the back of the room uh, in a neat uh, keeping everything organized not having wires running all over the place or having to go through walls or under carpets so just wanted to kind of to go over briefly uh, what you get in the package as you can see this is the uh, receiver that goes into the back of the room that the rear satellite speakers will connect to. This is the sender unit. The uh, from your receiver uh, output, the rear speakers will be connected to here. Uh, the speaker wire will be connected to here, and then the rear speaker signal will be transmitted, picked up by the receiver, and then uh, sent to the actual satellite speakers. I don't know if you can see this or not, but that's uh, uh, the back of the receiver. As you can see, this is the on-off button. Uh, this is the volume control for the rear speakers, obviously the inputs, and then this is, this is the sender unit. It also has a power button, uh, the uh, adapter for the power cord, and obviously the inputs for the speaker wire. Uh, this is uh, an example of the setup here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Now what you have to assume in this picture is that the front speakers are already connected uh, to the amplifier. Uh, so the cord coming from the amplifier to the sender unit would be the uh, this would be the output for the rear speakers. So these are already, these will connect as normal to your amplifier or receiver, whatever you have. And then the rear speakers will connect. You'll connect from the rear speaker outputs to the sender unit, and it will transmit the signal back to the receiver, uh, which the rear satellite speakers are connected to, as you can see here. So instead of having to run wires all the way from the uh, amplifier or receiver all the way to the rear of the room, uh, you have a, a wireless system here so keep everything neat and organized. Now it's not true wireless, uh, but we're still, I don't think the technology is out there to get a true wireless system, but this is a great, great alternative. I highly recommend it. So right now I'm going to take you in and kind of show you how I have things set up and uh, we'll, see, we'll go from there. Okay, what I wanted to show you is right here I have the HTS G1, which is made by Panasonic. It's built for the Xbox 360, uh, which I have set up. Uh, it was inexpensive. I like the look of it, and it, I have a smaller apartment, so I didn't want anything big. And it's actually uh, working out very well for me. I'm liking it. So I just wanted to show you here that this is the sender unit. This is where the wireless uh, signal for the rear speakers is transmitted from. I have it sitting on top of the uh, my receiver, and this is my front speaker. And then I have the other one over here. Now the the speaker wire to the front satellite speakers is connected as usual, as you normally would. Uh, I have the let's see if you can see here. Uh, the front speakers connect, and the front and rear speakers both connect here. So the front speakers go from here and then up into here and obviously on the other side, and they connect as normal. And then the rear speaker output goes from here, and then it runs up into the sender unit. And the sender unit, uh, this is the plug, and it's plugged in over there to a surge protector. And then the sender unit sends the signal then I have everything set up back here. I have them on the same side of the room just to make sure there wasn't any interference didn't have to go through walls or anything um, so as you can see this is the receiver unit it has a, a nice feature I like which was the power cord is actually in this kinda hidden 
inside the unit, which keeps everything nice and neat. And then everything is plugged in back here. So these would be my uh, rear satellite speakers, uh, left and right, plugged into here. And then when you want to power on the system, make sure to press the uh, red button here. And then to adjust the volume, that is found here. Uh, if you have any trouble connecting, there are connect buttons on each of the uh, units, the receiver and the sender. Uh, according to reviews I've read and also the, um, the instructions, uh, you don't really have to use that all because it's already paired at the uh, factory when you get it. So I have the wires running through the back, up the wall here to my first speaker, rear speaker, which is mounted. And then also I have one right here and it just runs behind the couch and connects. So as you can see I don't have anything under uh, the carpet running through the walls or ceilings or anything like that so uh, I get full surround sound uh, keep everything neat and organized. Uh, it's the Rocketfish universal wireless rear speaker system. It's available at Best Buy. It's about a hundred dollars. I didn't see a whole lot of reviews on it online. I did find a couple which were favorable uh, which you know helped me to decide to buy it, so I just figured I'd put some in, um, put a little video together to kind of inform people about it, give a review on it. I like it so far. Um, it's definitely going to make playing games and watching movies much more enjoyable. So I'm going to try here um, to put a little preview together, throw in some Rainbow Six, and uh, see what we can uh, see if I can't get the sound to kind of show you how how it works. Okay, right now I'm loading up Rainbow Six. Uh, I do want to point out here that you'll see the red light on the sender unit. That does indicate that everything is fine and the signal is being sent. If the red light is flashing, then you do not have a good connection and you need to check your wires uh, or try using the connect button on the back of the each of the units. Uh, a word of caution, the Speaker, they do uh, give you some wire to connect uh, your speaker systems, but I found them to be very short. I had to actually go out to Radio Shack and buy some speaker wire because this speaker over here, uh, the speaker wire wasn't long enough to connect all the way over to here, which as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, uh, it's probably a good six to eight feet or so. So I had to buy some extra speaker wire. Didn't you hear that? Fucking death! That, yeah, it was. We got trouble! Shit. That sounded like... I know! So what I tried to do there was just put the uh, camera up next to the speaker to let you know that it does transmit the signal from the uh, receiver to the rear of the room. Uh, it works, and as you can see, the uh, HTS G1 system sounds pretty good. Uh, I'm, like I said earlier, really looking forward to uh, you know gaming and watching some movies uh, with the new setup. So if you have any questions, uh, send me a message. Post a comment. I'd be happy to uh, answer anything that's, you know, within my knowledge. Uh, thanks again. Talk to you later. Bye.